What's up, SK? Welcome back to another great day. Today we have an important announcement for tomorrow. Oh, what is it? You'll have to keep watching. I'll cover it here in a minute. Why don't you start us off? Tolo ticket prices go up next week. Guest forms are due next week, Wednesday. No exceptions. And next week is Spirit Week. Wednesday is Biker versus Surfer. Thursday is Mathlete versus Athlete. And Friday is Country versus Country Club. If you come to school Monday or Tuesday, we will laugh at you. Seniors, want the last word? Senior quotes are due Friday. Email Ms. Myers with the email on screen. If you're quoting Shakespeare or someone else, make sure to include their name as well. Also remember to submit another picture or selfie to accompany it. Baseline concussion testing is mandatory for baseball, fast pitch, boys soccer, pole vaulting for freshmen and juniors. First testing date starts tomorrow. If you have any questions, see the athletics office. AP Info Night is tomorrow at 5.30 in the library. Stop by, for the, stop by for information since class registration is right around the corner. Next up, we have a very important announcement. Teachers, please make sure that everyone has their phones put away. This will be about a lockdown drill we will have tomorrow. To tell us about it, we'll be handing things over to Mr. Pickard. Hello Wolves, tomorrow we'll be having a lockdown drill. This one will be a little bit different than ones we've done before because it's gonna take place during passing time specifically between first and second periods. As we haven't done a drill like this before in a while, it's important to keep these next few points in mind. First and most importantly, this will be a drill. Now, when you hear the locked-in announcement, you should first check your surroundings. Where is the threat coming from? Where is my quickest exit or lockdown area? Next, immediately head to the closest available room with a door that can be locked. This can be a classroom, the theater, or maybe even an office. What you don't want to do is hide in the bathroom or underneath the table in the commons. If you can't make it to the room, exit the building through the nearest exit and get as far away from the building as possible if this was a real emergency. Great, now you should be somewhere safe. At this point, you should follow our normal lockdown procedures. Stay away from windows, keep quiet, and stay calm. Once the drill is over, we'll come over the PA for the all clear and you can head to your second block class. For tomorrow's drill, if exiting the building is the safest course of action, please do not run away and get as far away as you possibly can. Exit the building and then wait until the all clear. We want you back in class for the next period. There will be staff outside the exits to help you and they'll guide you and quiz you on the appropriate responses for the situation. And remember, tomorrow's drill will happen during passing time between first and second periods. Thanks for listening and have a great day, SK. Thanks, Mr. Pickard. Getting back into the news, want to get yourself a post-Valentine's Day treat? Get three heart-shaped suckers from the ASB office for just a dollar. Proceeds will benefit the turkey Syria Earthquake Relief Funds. In club news, there is no ASL meeting today. They will meet next Wednesday. Congratulations to Reese Wilson, Anton Block, Kelsey Gotcher, and Marissa Jackman for qualifying for DECA Internationals through the school-based enterprise program. Wish them luck as they pre prepare to compete in April in Orlando. The clubs meeting today are AAPI, Auto Tech, Cosmetology and Self Care, Esports, Journalism, QSA, Speech and Debate, and Woodshed. Meeting tomorrow will be 3D Wit, Ceramics, DECA, FCCLA, FFA, German, Japanese, Psychology, and Shades of Color. Oh, and make sure to check out Tristan's CFF film on our YouTube channel. It's about a detective figuring out a mystery. It's a real knee slapper. Wow, I'll have to check that out. Well, we'll see you later, SK.